basic idea of Descartes' ontological argument is ba is making an analogy between God and certain mathematical objects, geometric figures, for example. So let's take a look at what he's telling us about the geometric figures. And let's take a look at an example I pulled off the internet. There are a bunch of different kinds of triangles. So, equal equilateral, isosceles, scale, all kinds of different triangles. But the interesting thing that we know about triangles is we can prove things true about the triangles and other things in math and logic even if we don't know anything about you know, the world or the existing triangle. And the idea is even if we don't know what kind of triangle it is, we can still prove certain things about a triangle. And let's take one thing that happens to be a theorem in geometry. And don't get nervous. If geometry wasn't your subject, you, you're not going to have to follow the details. I'm not going to, it's not a class in geometry, but I just want you to understand the way the geometric reasoning is going to work. Because Descartes, we said, is a rationalist, it's one of the continental rationalists. And when you think about continental rationalism, we're thinking about people who think that the paradigm of knowledge, the ideal that knowledge follows, is the mathematical paradigm. It's going to work the way mathematics does. So Descartes now is telling us that in mathematics we can prove things about triangles without knowing anything about the world. That is, we can do it on a completely a priori basis. And one theorem in geometry is that the interior angles of a triangle are equal to two right angles. By two right angles, you know, each right angle is 90 degrees. So the inside angles of a triangle, no matter which kind, add up exactly to 180 degrees, 2 times 90, which is kind of an interesting fact. And if you think about it, how do we figure this out? Well, we didn't go around with a protractor and measure the angles and start adding them up. And in fact, if we actually did that, we drew triangles and we started measuring the angles and adding them up, and we found out that it came to 160, 100, excuse me, 179 degrees or 189 degrees, 81 degrees. We wouldn't say, ah, that theorem is wrong in geometry, but rather we have more faith that the the, the, the geometric proof is right and we ought to have more faith that the geometric proof is right than any of our measurements that we're doing so what really is the basic idea behind this mathematics is that we can prove things about the triangle and let's just uh, turn for a second to the actual proof just to get an idea how it works because I think when we look at the proof by analogy we're not hoping I'm not hoping to teach geometry but by analogy, we're going to see that the way the geometrical proof is the way this ontological proof works.